Hey guys, I'm Holistic Health with Harry, and today I'm joined, I usually say I'm Daniel, I'm joined by a very special guest, but truly today I'm joined by a very, very, very special guest. Now, Daniel, you are the founder and has brought to the world, uh, the world's attention, this amazing detox product called Zen Cleanse. So to me, you're the founder of Zen Cleanse, and you're here with me and I'm very honoured. So thank you very much for joining us. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Harry, for having me here. Yeah. No worries, brother. No worries. And I have many questions. Um, I'll say quickly, I got involved with it last year. I've heard about it a year and a half ago, and it took me a while. And since then, I'm doing kind of okay helping people with it. I've been blown away by the products. Can I ask you, um, where did it all begin with the Zen Cleanse? Where did this Where did this begin for you? Where was the beginning? Yeah. Um, first, uh, it started... Uh... I have a center in China, a detox center, health and detox center, because my my uh, profession is I'm a Chinese medicine doctor and a Qigong master. I just this is what I was doing in a, in in China in a very beautiful town called Yangshu, which is a very uh, tourist area. I had my health center there. Uh, I had a health center there for over 10 years. And um, and uh, at some point, um, some people stopped and uh, entered the center and they started talking with uh, the staff. And uh, they were people from this uh, enzyme company. And uh, by the time I was busy at that moment, and they were talking to them, explaining that, uh, you know, the owner was a Canadian and Chinese medicine doctor and Qigong and here was a detox. And they took, uh, the staff took uh, these people around. And uh, and I finally met them and uh, they were just touring in the town. And... Uh, uh, we talked and, um, you know, at first I was a little bit, um, you know, like this. I, it, it was a habit for me, you know, it was a habit for me to, to refuse uh, to, to sell. I, all my life, my professional life, you know, I started Chinese medicine in Canada in 1987. So, so that was like really at the beginning of uh, alternative medicine, I would say in Canada, you know. So I was on the list of every single supplement and companies, you know, to to to, to sell. So uh, and I thought there was a little bit of conflict of interest of telling someone, I think you need this, and by the way, I have some for sale, you know. So I had this this attitude. Of refusing, like this reaction. No, thank you. No, thank you. And there was a lot of good products in all the things I refused, but it was just like um, just a matter of integrity for me. I think to to not to accept to sell things. I was referring people, and hmm. but uh, this time, you know, like they didn't want me to sell. They actually wanted me to. Over time, I make a long story short. Okay, um, uh, they they wanted me to work with them because you know when you're a blonde, curly, blue eyes Chinese medicine doctor in China, you got some marketing power. You know, <laughs> it's uh, yeah. So um, as so they they wanted me uh not only for that, but they wanted me to create like a training center for for this this staff and you know they were in expansion in china and all this uh, so uh so but uh, uh i was kind of refusing and and so at some point they just sent me plane tickets and hotel rooms and they say you come and i said yeah, okay i've never been to taiwan so there was a free trip for me that's how i got there but i just end up like in their um uh headquarter and uh, I've been uh, greeted by Chinese medicine doctor, naturopathic doctors, PowerPoints, presentation, you know, and oh, 
it, I was like ravished uh, I already, you know, to see all the professionalism around it. And, and, uh, and at the same time, they was giving me like shakers of drinks, you know, on that day, you know, the, they were taking me through the protocol uh, of enzyme and um, and at the end of the day, they they released me with a with a basket and chopsticks and plastic gloves to collect my my first movement the next morning, you know. And they asked me to take pictures and uh, uh, and they took also like blood blood samples before I started taking the enzymes, you know. So all of this, take a picture of that. So the next morning, yeah, we just woke up and then that's how. Uh, my life flipped, you know, because uh, what I realized that came out just like 12 hours after I finished my last uh, drink, I was like, oh, it's not that that it was the first, it was not the first time I was seeing clock because I've been like a faster, I was running a detox center, so I've seen this, tried everything before, I thought I knew everything. Actually, you know, I thought I thought I knew it all, mm -hmm. but uh, what I saw there the the, the next morning, uh, 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 what came what came to my mind first was not, uh, oh my God, look mm -hmm. at that! But it was like, oh my God, if I had these products with all the people that came to my center before and shook my hands and say thank you, Doc. You know, and left, and I knew that they would never do that again in their life because water fasting is 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 harsh. Is, is there's a lot of hardship in this, and and you need to do that for a week or two and all this. You know, I was thinking if I had this product at end at that time, how many people I would have sent on the healing path? Because once you do that, you know, you you say okay. What's next, Doc? It's not thank you. And you know that I'll never do that again. Unsaid, you know, untold. So so I was very, very uh, uh, excited about that part. That was the 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 the, the most um, the, the the most powerful thought I had was more, oh my god, how can this send people on the self-healing path? Because it's never a magic trick healing. It's a matter of time. You need to mm. keep going. You need to keep cleansing layers by layers. You know, you need to keep going. It's not a one shot deal. So I, I thought, you know, if I had this, because it's not everybody reacting to uh, discomfort the same way. Mm -hmm. You know, some people like I'm this type, you know, I'm a sport person. Uh, I've had coaches just beating me and I liked it, you know, they're like pushing me and shouting at me. I, I, I like that. And, and I practice Zen meditation, you know, like with my legs numb for hours thinking that I would need to be amputated, you know, and I was going there the next morning, you know, again and again. I like that. But there's some people, as soon as they are pulled out of their comfort zone, they say, oh, no, oh, no. they don't walk. But you say, you, this, you're going to die. You know, I don't mind, I'd rather die. You know? Some people is like that. They don't want to, they cannot deal with uh, being pulled out artificially of their comfort zone. You know, they would, if it's like healing crisis, feeling uncomfortable, feeling like dizzy. They can feel dizzy in their daily life for so different reasons. You know, and they'll be fine. They they'll be fine with it. They will hope that you don't feel that. But as soon as you you send them into a on a healing path, and you know that the natural healing path is going is kind of to walk backward, and you need to go through the the the, the darkness, uh, the, the 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 shadow parts of, of your life. Uh, many people cannot do that. But with the enzyme, it was softening the process so much. And that, that's why I was excited about it. Mm. Mm. Very interesting. So you was approached for this. It had already been set up, these enzymes, which are the three-year-old fermented fruits and vegetables with that process that they do. And you tried the sachets, I guess, and got great results. And you're happy to support. So you joined the team and then became the founder, the spokesperson for them. 
I did not change the team because that's the that's uh I, actually I refused to join the team. Oh. Uh, I decided to bring these to the Western world because what they wanted me to do was to do work in in Asia. Uh, they wanted me to work with them, and I decided instead of jumping without any experience in in this size of a business to jump and register a company in Taiwan and set the whole thing and uh, the whole process of exporting uh, the, the, the products to the Western world. I have been living in many uh, countries uh, in my life. I lived in and where I was into an uh, international hub. You know, I lived in California, I lived in Bali, Indonesia, I lived in Thailand, I lived in, in Costa Rica, many places where I met people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and practicing all these alternatives. So I had many contacts. Uh, so that's how I started. I just, I just sent samples to the people I knew. And I say, hey man, just, just try that. Just try that. It's unbelievable. To, to just, uh, it's a revolution. And this is how it started. And people say, oh my God, yeah. And, you know, because it's a community movement that actually is turning to be, you know, at the moment. It's a, it's more than just a business. It's a movement. That no, is yes. Through. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, I've seen in the last year and a half since I started to get on board and heard about it. And I believed in it, by the way, before I'd even tried it, to be honest. Um, it made sense to me in my head, but I've seen it. I heard it through Alexandra Cousins um, and then tried it. And then a few people under me tried it before me, even I was not because I wasn't promoting it. Then I got around to trying it. And when I did, I did it the wrong way around, Daniel, I guess you'd say that because I did the liver one first instead of the intestines. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I've got a quick, funny story. Um, I actually got um, short sighted at 13 from a BCG vaccine and I'm still short sighted now to this day. And I do a lot of therapies that are free and amazing uh, for my health. I'm obsessed with physical health, physical health coach, holistic health. And when I tried the liver one for the first time, um, I was think I was on hour 16 in the process and I was watching TV and I normally have to have my glasses. I didn't have my glasses on and I was just watching TV without my glasses and couldn't see fit, uh, fit couldn't see properly. And then uh, my eyes came back online. I was like, right to back to perfection. It happened for like 10, 20 seconds. And I've done a lot of things, like I said, and nothing ever done that. And I was feeling good, of course, during the liver detox. I was noticing things. But that really shocked me. And it made me aware, something you already know from Chinese medicine, I'm sure, the liver is strongly connected to the eyes. So the vaccine put toxins in my, heavy metals in my liver, which are still stuck to this day. And your liver zen cleanse removed them so powerfully, my eyes decided to come back on spontaneously. And since then, I got obsessed with a zen cleanse, bought the zen cleanse one, got great results with that, pooed more than I've ever done in a long time. And now I'm committed myself. I can't speak for anyone else. I'm committing myself to doing it lifelong. Every couple of months, do both of them, you know, because I know they're so powerful. I'm on a mission like you to get the word out there to people that I have influence over that are willing to give me the time and listen to me that you need to try this cleanse out because I've never seen results in a cleanse like this. There's been many, Daniel, uh, I'm sure you're aware, detox cleanses that claim these things that do okay jobs, but I've just never seen something this powerful um, ever, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's another category, you know, it's just, um, um, I mean, I'm, I'm talking uh, from the, the doctor's standpoint, not the salesperson's standpoint. It's it's a category of its own. It's, uh, uh, it, it actually it overrules pretty much everything I knew b before. It's more powerful, and and at the same time, it's, you can combine all this together. It, it's not like it, it, you you can keep your protocols, you keep you can keep your your uh, the the methods and the, the the connection that you have, and you this, and it will amplify. It amplifies everything that uh, that you're doing, and and I hear you, and you've tried the kits, but the real power is in the liquids, you know, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, the kit is cool, is impressive, and it's eye-opening, right, isn't yeah. it? 
is yeah. like, whoa, yep. oh, it's so fast, you know, it opens your eyes uh, very quickly. But, but to, to, for the deeper work, mm -hmm. the liquid enzymes are the most uh, powerful. So, so, so what I, and I got to understand because it took a while for me it was like, uh, even if I heard about enzymes in my, in my studies, I never, I, I really reopened my book and say, what is that? You know? And I started to, to, to dig a little bit uh, deeper in that three year fermented enzymes like this transform the enzyme into systemic enzymes. Uh, you know, in this liquid form. So that means it penetrates the blood and 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 follows the bloodstream and nibbles all through your system. Huh. And this is this is uh, where the the life changing uh, element kicks in because you know we hear and it's a good thing you know the the the. the the last uh, decade, I would say, you know, the colon hydrotherapy is, you know, was very, very famous enemas and all this, you know, but, and, but you know, we're talking about one meter long tube of the digestive system. Mm -hmm. We got eight meters. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we got this old thick thing, mm. you know? This old big thing that, that, that we have kilometers of blood, blood vessels. We have filters like a machine, the liver, the lymph, the kidneys, the, you know, all these are filters that have been filtering your blood from the gunks, the chemicals, the, all, the bad Franken food, you know, since birth. You know, and we have tissues that have been working, lactic acid, not name it. You know, it's like good life creates toxins. So, you know, it's like we get, we are a thick bundle of gunk at some point, <laughs> you know? So, so, you know, if we talk about recovering health and then we hear about clean your colon, yeah. I have nothing, I'm for it, and it definitely need to, you know? But we're far from arriving, you know? We, 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 the job is, is far from being done. You, know, you, you, know, you need to, to go and penetrate your system and cleanse all this because all this gunk has been traveling and sticking to the, all the walls yeah. they could meet. You know, at some point the liver got clogged, and this is the the guardian of the bloodstream. When is this one cannot do its job because it's saturated? It's the downfall. It's like it allows all unwanted particles inside the bloodstream, mm -hmm. and then you have okay, you have the lymphatic system. Lymphatic system, okay, is not there to do a big job like this. And it gets saturated, and then you have the kidney, you know, and then, you know, the, the, it just spreads all over. The, the, the toxicity, when you don't have these filters already clean, like the liver is key, you know, you just, if the liver is, is, is clogged, it, it, that's it, you know? It's like the door is open, it's the bar, the bar doesn't have a doorman anymore. Everyone can get in. You know, and this is the downfall. So, so very, very um, uh, important to understand that, you know, there are trends and the Western world is just integrating just bits by bits uh, of, of it. You know, the colon and colon hydrotherapy, the big deal and enemas and all this. A lot of people know that. But what about the small intestine? Oh, yeah. The small intestine is where all your food is absorbed. All your nutrients is absorbed in the bloodstream. Yeah. And this is where the undigested food, food gets clogged first, get, gets stuck on the wall first. Yes. So then, then you, you do all the good food, you say, I'm eating well and all this. Doesn't get absorbed. Yeah. Doesn't get broken down because you're oftentimes you know, people are exhausted enzyme wise because they eat too much. Mm. This, sitting on the chair all day long on an office, uh, in an office, uh, and eating three meals a day plus snacks. 
Yeah. What is that? It's like this is you know it's impossible to 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 get anywhere close to help in the in this way. So yeah. so to integrate like some reinforcement of your your little pacments to break down all this food into nutrients to process all this and to process all the the gunk that has accumulated over your all over your tissues all over the body you know so it's a uh, it's the liquid enzyme does do that they penetrate the blood and and do the job deeper and deeper and deeper because you know that why we keep this on the liquid form it's not practical not convenient at all mm. yeah uh, it's better to have a pill why do we ferment that three years right it's not convenient at all you know like the most of the enzyme you see on the on the shelf is to from the fruit to the shell mm -hmm. about two months mm. you know so this is what you you see like digestive enzyme and i'm not saying that there's no value but it's completely different it's yeah. not a, not it's not the same the same uh no, no. same thing at all you cannot no, I, compare i even heard on one of your interviews with a lady that um she does she promotes purium she said the purine enzymes are nothing compared to the zen glands uh, so that's true can i ask you um uh, can i ask you a few questions so um so I love what you said about systemic. So maybe a lot of the enzymes on the market are just localized because there's not enough of them. And maybe the fermentation, um, I don't know what you think. Does the fermentation of enzymes for that long in the specific process magnify them to ridiculous numbers? So we're talking about an extremely high amount of enzymes because we certainly know that raw foods only have the enzymes to take care of the raw foods that you're eating. They can't, there are not enough enzymes to take care of the backlog um, because everyone's eaten from childhood, unlikely to have eaten raw 100% of their lives. So now they super you supercharge the enzyme process, and now for that reason it becomes systemic and not localized because there's now enough enzymes not just to take care of like a tiny bit of the colon, but the entire colon, the small intestines, and the entire blood networks. Is that sort of the reason why we're dealing with the power of this? Absolutely. That's why we. That's what the long fermentation does. To it. it refines it, so it can. It be, they become systemic, you know, and. Um, and and then also the variety we ferment 152 plants okay right. and yeah. then according to the purpose we blend we mix them like uh, tcm doctors and naturopathic doctors and scientists together this is our research and development um uh department put them together blend them together okay and it's not extract it's not extract. These are it, it, it's it's food. It's all food. Okay, so we don't have to 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 be scared. We don't. We do, we just make them hundred percent bioavailable. Huh. Okay, which is something that a uh, uh, food undigested food don't have. You still need to process them. Okay, so you make them like immediately bioavailable. So so it it, it means also that they are non-allergenic because an allergy is an undigested protein penetrating the bloodstream, the most, the, the biggest, uh, you know, cause of this and creating an autoimmune reaction. So this is impossible with us because it's all pre-digested. For three years, it's completely pre-digested. So it's totally safe. And, and the blends are made it, it, with a variety of plants. Oftentimes you can find, uh, like here in Asia, enzyme is common, you know, it's common. It's, uh, uh, but you will see like one ingredient, like lemon enzyme or, you know, like, like a superstar of fruit that has like antioxidants or, uh, you know, whatever, like uh, the, 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 the purpose, uh, you know, of this. It does... To ferment 152 plants, you need to have the resources. You know, right. you need to have the farmers. Yeah. You need to have you know to keep uh, to keep going. It's it's, it's quite an organization. Mm. So some people uh, do do that, and they choose they specialize in one type of, of enzyme. 
and and it's very good. You mm -hmm. know, it's it's very good. It has like the it, it serves a serves the purpose. But but the 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 advantage that to have so much option, we can we can blend and we can also have and make all the the nutrients and the healing compounds of the plant also bioavailable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is, you know, so it goes straight in your system. And then you have the God-given medicine totally uh, 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 integrated into your system and doing the work. So, uh, and it, and you also have like a variety because there's enzymes, you have a variety of, uh, of enzymes. There's proteas, there's lipase, you know, there's amylase. The cellulase, you know, the cellulase, you need to, the body just need to make it put off their home. But uh, I mean, you know, there's a wide variety of enzymes according to the ingredient that we choose. So this is uh, uh, an additive. So, so that means like when it, the enzyme travel inside the, the body, if they see whatever it is, whatever type, whatever category, we they're equipped to break them down to digest because the detox process is a digestive process of the undigested matter that's stuck to the walls right mm -hmm. so it's all a digestive uh, process and um, and then if there's nothing to digest then they are food so they are nourishing the cells you know so which are the two things that we need to because we don't heal them only the body can heal itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like the only thing we can do because there's too many things, chemical reaction, nervous reaction, blah, 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 happening every nanoseconds, you know, like better not get involved too much in this, okay? O occasionally if needed in, mm. in case of emergency or uh, acute uh, condition, but otherwise you better just remove the roadblocks and that's the principle of what we we of what we're doing. We remove the roadblocks that are on the way of the body of the self healing power of the body, and we feed, we fuel the cell. We fuel the power of the body, and then the body just recovers. So the, in in traditional Chinese medicine system, the whole the whole view, okay. We call this the higher medicine, the upper level medicine. So it's not about interfering. It's not about intervening with anything. It's just about cleaning and feeding. That's food. Yeah. yeah it's lifestyle. It's yeah. lifestyle medicine. It's all this, all, everything you do. The, the, this, the middle one is when you get into acute condition you okay you have inflammation you have pain you have uh, whatever uh condition it has you have okay and then you re refer to an expert an acupuncturist a naturopathic doctor you know an osteopath a homeopath whatever healer who will interfere intervene for a short period of time to help you keep balance. Let's say you have like overload, overwhelming parasites into, you know, it's like at some point you need to, to control that, mm -hmm. you know, don't get, yeah. And then at the same, but at the same time, you must not stop taking care of the terrain. You need to maintain the, the, the higher medicine constantly going. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, re replace that part mm -hmm with the intervention you don't make anyone and you hope uh, honestly the therapist should hope to see you for the shortest time as possible hmm. and you have the lowest medicine the lower uh, medicine which is the chemical medicine and surgery and these are to save life hmm. it is very very short time spontaneous you know it's like it's just for a short time and this you know and so all this is me is the medical system the integrative medicine system that it's good to have all this together the problem nowadays is like we have just 
put the chemical and the surgery and everything, and we block your, your sight from the lifestyle and the little adjustment that could be done very easily. And then you're stuck into the sickness, sarc, vicious sarc, circle, okay, of chemical inducing side effects and more sick and all this, and we keep you alive. And this is the, the uh, so, so by bringing the enzymes there back to life, because this is very old, uh, or not, these have been created and, and refined by monks. Oh, yeah. This, you know, like Belgian monks brew beers, and uh, French make cheese, and uh, and uh, is like they're all the monks are into fermentation, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, yeah, but the 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 the, the Chinese. Asian monk were into enzymes mm -hmm. and they refined it into the fine art uh, yeah. of it. And this is the higher medicine. This is the higher medicine that sh should always be there. And if you have a very good higher medicine, very unlikely, very rarely you will need the middle one. Where, okay? Or it's going to be like seasonal and all this, you're going to do it's very mild, nothing, you know, too, too heavy. And you most likely will never need the chemicals or the surgery. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, so it was so, Chinese monks in the end. Can I ask you, um, what is the most powerful thing? Because you've been around now, um, established come for a while, and you've probably seen a lot in your Telegram group. Um, what is the most powerful, shocking for you, um, testimonials you've seen with your Zen cleansers? Has it been the systemic ones, the liquids daily? Has it been the Zen cleanse one? Has it, um, because I know, I, even for me, I've seen so many things with people under me. So what's, what shocked you the most um, with your Zen cleanse? I get shocked uh, so often, you know. It's like, for me, it's like, uh, you know, uh, I haven't seen it all, you know. I'm discovering it, the, so much what uh, the enzyme can do. And sometimes I have my fingers crossed, you know, I hope, you know. That and I believe, I trust, I understand the way I understand things. I've seen like uh, people like with uh, uh, autoimmune response, you know, like arthritis, you know, getting free. Uh, I've seen like a, a, a person, some, you know, like a person after one cleanse, no more need for uh, uh, thyroid medicine, for example. Hmm. And I'm not saying that the, 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 the product is about healing thyroid. Hmm. Sometimes, you know, I'm just saying that sometimes an organ doesn't, or a gland doesn't function very well just because of a small little detail blocked that doesn't allow the flow properly. And then you have like the big symptom of, you know, uh, of hyper or uh, hypothyroid symptoms, you know, just because it's a little thing. Uh, another one, you know, after one cleanse, mm -hmm. diabetes, type 2 diabetes, gone for a year and a half, Whoa. you know, and, and yeah, mm -hmm. again, probably the same thing. And I'm not saying that the product heals diabetes. Mm -hmm. There was probably her diabetes was linked to a detail, something blocked and the cleanse just, just mm -hmm. cleansed it. Mm -hmm. My mom. My mom, yeah. uh, my mom, you know, uh, got on uh, high blood pressure pills. She was 37, very mm. young. Mm. And she's 84 now. Oh, wow. And so that means this is 47 years, right? Mm. 47 years on high blood pressure pills. Uh, three months ago, uh, she, she, you know, I call her twice a week. And uh, one, one of the phone calls, she said, you know what happened to me? He said, "This uh, yesterday, like I, I, I was in the kitchen and I just got drenched in sweat, you know. And uh, she's eighty four, so she say I was scared to fall. I, I, I just sat on the floor hmm. and wait to feel a little better. And she lives in a place where the second floor is a, a, a nursery or a, you know, kind of a, there's some nurses and doctors that are that are there and." Um, she pressed the button, the nurse came, took her blood pressure. That's what they do, eh? first thing, you know, and you have a nurse take the blood pressure and she said, your blood pressure is low. Hmm. She said, I have high blood pressure. 
But did she say your blood pressure is low? So so she 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 recovers and uh, she calls her physician, her, her doctor, the one who follow her. And and the doctor first thing say he's like, don't take your your high blood pressure medicine for now. Okay, we need to schedule a blood test and we need to check you, but don't take your blood your 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 high blood pressure pill now because you have low blood pressure can be dangerous. So the next day, you know, of course, she's full equipped. She's got the blood pressure uh, thing, you know. She take her blood pressure. Blood pressure is okay. Don't take um, don't take uh, her pill. And the uh, appointments slow in Canada, you know, like this is three months ago. Oh. My mom doesn't have high blood pressure. Oh. 47 years she's been on pills. What was she doing, the Zenclens one, or was it a systemic? Um... She, she was on the mycelia. Uh, the wow. Mycelia, because, you know, I sent her to mycelia because since the vaccination, she got a blood clot on her right leg. And uh, uh, mycelia is made with uh, reishi and 15 kinds of mushroom, which is polysaccharides. It's famous in Chinese medicine for blood clotting and blood vessel cleansing. Huh. But my mom is like this. She saw that within 24 hours, her legs came back to normal. She think, you know, she just wants mycelia for the rest of her life. So I kept sending her, uh, that was two years ago, and I kept sending her boxes of it. It's my mom, you know? Yeah. So I just sent her uh, huh. the mycelia and the light seed, and she takes this religiously huh. twice a day, huh. two times 30 ml, and she, you know, she's okay. She likes the taste, and, you know, <laughs> it's fine. Never heard of anything. And this is, that was two years ago. Wow. Yeah, that was two years ago, and now I tell you, this is three. Uh, so this story is uh, is three um, three months ago, and I think that she will never have high blood pressure again. Yeah, yeah. and she's got atherosclerosis. I say, Mama, I just go for your blood tests. Go have a look. Get get up this check. I would be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't improvement. Yeah, you know. So these are these. I tell you, this was like. Oh my God, this is really good. Yeah. Another, you know, I can keep going, man. It's, it's like Let's put it five in, in another Zoom, Daniel, because we're going to finish this. It's running out of time. So I'll send you another link. I'd love to talk to you more. Okay, cheers. Absolutely. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you in a bit. Thank Absolutely. You.